మీరు భోజనమైందా అడగాలంటే ఇలా హ్యావ్ ఇంకా తినకపోతున్నాను అంటే ఐ హ్యావ్ టు హ్యావ్ ఇంకా లేదు అంటే ఎట్ టు హ్యావ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎట్ సార్ ఇప్పుడు శుక్రవారము నేను చేయను ఒకపోదు లేదంటే ఇట్లా ఉంటే సే సార్ టుడే ఇస్ ఫ్రైడే ఐ ఓన్ టీట్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఫాస్టింగ్ టుడే ఇస్ ఫ్రైడే ఐ ఓన్ టీట్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఫాస్టింగ్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సే ఐ హ్యావ్ రిటర్న్ సమ్ జీకే క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ యూ టు నో అబౌట్ ది ఆర్టికల్స్ what i did yesterday i will repeat and tell the usage of a and the where to use where not to use okay so coming to question number 1 <coughs> how many countries are there in this world properties in the world and which is the smallest country the biggest country in the world is russia the smallest country is but it is russia is seven times bigger than india russia is seven times bigger than india and australia which has you will be very much surprised if i say which has a population of less than 1000 and the area is somewhere about 324 acres of land approximately now coming to the third question which organism was first born on this earth ఎవరు మొదలు పుట్టింది అనమాట ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ సమ్ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ మిలియన్ ఇయర్స్ అగో విచ్ వాజ్ ది ఆర్గనిజం విచ్ వాస్ ఫస్ట్ బౌన్ ఆన్ ద అర్త్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ బ్యాక్టీరియా ఇట్ వాస్ ఫస్ట్ బౌన్ ఆన్ దిస్ అర్త్ ఈస్ బ్యాక్టీరియా ఇట్ వాస్ బోర్న్ ఇన్ వాటర్ అండ్ వన్ మోర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫోర్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ విచ్ ఆర్గన్ ఫస్ట్ గ్రోస్ ఇన్ ద మదర్స్ ఓమ్ organ which grows somebody will say i sir somebody will say no somebody will say head somebody will say intestine somebody will say liver if you know it's well and good if you don't know make a note the organ which first grows in the mother's womb is the heart the organ which first grows in the so these are some of the gk questions and one more thing is <coughs> what is the expansion of news I'll ask you, did you read the newspaper today? This is about what is the EWS? Expansion is North, East, West, South. The expansion of news is North, East, West, South. Did you understand? Yes. Now coming to what I taught you yesterday. Now I will read the nouns where we should compulsorily use if i told yesterday i repeated today all unique things where the is used for unique things if you are not made a note please make a note i repeat how many countries are there in this world 100 which organism was first born on this earth that is bacteria in water which organ first grows in the mother's womb w o m b in the mother's stomach that is the heart what is the expansion of news n e w s it is north east west south it is the di- four direct and expansions and i'll start the lesson yesterday you might have understood well the usage of a and an today i will tell how a gets converted to the and where the should not be used where the should be used compulsorily then i tell you about the singular and plural noun
Now coming to how A gets converted to the how A ochi the elaga convert out on the upper convert out on the under what circumstances that I'll tell you. Say for example, Ramesh, get me a book and get me a book from the library. Ramesh goes to the library and gets a book. A book converts to the book. Sir, here is the book. He gets to me and hands over the book to me. Then that it becomes the book. When you are addressing anything for the first time, A or an, and when you are addressing the same thing for the second time or the subsequent time, it is converted to the He will say, Sir, I saw a peacock at the temple. temple So a peacock at the temple has come for the first time. Earlier there was no peacock in the temple. Go and see Susek Mem Potamu, Randi Anduru Randi Kalchi Potamu. Ah, this is the contract form of letters. Letters writing here, apostrophe. Let's go and see. Let's go and see converted to the peacock. He'll say, come, let's go and see the peacock. He will say, sir, it is both for male also it is peacock, for female also peacock. But there is a gender for that. If somebody asks you if peacock a male or a female, you should say peacock is a male. Then what is in Mogadi, peacock and Mogadi, PN and Ardi. It is called P chick. It is called P chick. Maybe a male or a female. It is called P chick. The male, the other gender of peacock is P hen. Peacock is a male. P hen is a female. So, coming one more. <coughs> We'll say like that. I didn't get my bike today. Bike ipo do ratis kura le do. Suresh, go and get me an auto. Suresh, poi wo kaata tis kura. Wo kaata tis kura ne mata. Tis kura kado tis kura ne mata. So I say, I didn't get. Look at that. After did, it is a present form of verb. I didn't got. You should not say. I didn't get my bike today. Suresh, go and get me an auto. Suresh goes there and he gets an auto. What you will say, sir, here, an auto gets converted to the auto. That is what I told you in the beginning itself. I keep on repeating the same thing. Anything when you are addressing for the first time, it is A or AND. When you are addressing the same thing, it gets converted to the. So here, and auto yesterday I went to a movie. You will say yesterday I went to a movie. Like that you can say. Then I will ask, how is the movie? Cinema Elagundi Nenenema Poyutini 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 Nemata. He will come and say me, then I will ask, How is the movie? Movie Elagundi. Then what happens is, A gets converted to, A gets converted to the. Because this is not a vowel sound, you have to say the. Here in other case, in auto, you have to say the auto. 
Now, did you understand? These are the <coughs> you can write. You can do any number of examples. Only thing is, you should try to understand. You should try to understand when you are addressing anything for the first time. The different article that is done. One more example, I'll write. ఆర్టికల్ బిఫోర్ that means the definition says no article should be used no article should be used before no article should be used edinu vaadakududu ane maata for the name of a country or you can say state or district or a town you should not use any article before this and third is before the name of a place rajajinagar jainagar something like that before the name of the place before the name of a metal before the name of a game so you should write like this the person before before the name of the state you got it or place or metal game you should not say a narendra modi the narendra modi a donald trump b rahul gandhi a sonia gandhi like that you cannot say any name you should not say before the name of the country the india a india the pakistan the china the japan the australia you should not say before the name of the state a andhra pradesh a karnataka a maharashtra a west bengal district like that you cannot say town also you cannot say chikbalapur chikbalapur tumkur something like that town also you should not make use of any article before that and place rajaji nagar jai nagar shivaji nagar city market cantonment i get you cannot use like that place also silver platinum steel iron wood you cannot say a gold or the gold a silver or the silver a bronze or the bronze a copper or the copper you should not use any article before the name of the metal the same <clears throat> the national game of india is hockey the national game of india is hockey so very few people play hockey so you should not say before the name of the game you should not use any article so this is a list where you should not use any article so that is a rule don't ask why rule means rule you have to follow in english now coming to some countries are exempted there you have no some countries are exempted where you should use and you must and should use the different article i will give you the list of the countries so these countries are exempted in the rtc so which are the countries the usa the uae the 
the west indies the philippines the netherlands andaman the himalayas like that you can say here it is very compulsory that you have to make use of the different article before only these countries not in other countries these are called the some countries exempted because they are in a this is in a group there are some 50 states in inside united states of america there are some other countries there in united kingdom uk means united kingdom usa means united states of america uae means united arab emirates so some group of countries are there in united arab emirates dubai abu dhabi doha qatar west indies is only one country philippines is only one country netherlands is only one country where we use the here why why because it is in a plural form that is the definition because they are in a group we have to use the they are in a plural form we have to use that is the difference here we should not use any article here we have to definitely use article only for these countries not for only for these countries we make use of different article for these countries for these people we don't use no no coming to where the is definitely used without fail the you should compulsorily use different article should be compulsorily used in some cases it or unique compulsorily you have to use the which are the unique things unique things in the world means yes the you should say the inverted commas should be used should be used q u e unique things spellings and pronunciations are very very important in english language spellings and pronunciations are very very important in english language if you wrongly pronounce it will give a different meaning but they say that that is not right but spellings also if you miss any letter it will not give a meaning or it will give a different meaning okay so which are the unique things the unique things are which is there only one the earth the stars the planet venus or uh, jupiter whatever it is the planet venus the planet venus means it's a bright planet something like that there is taj mahal it is in agra the charminar charminar the great wall of china the pyramids of egypt these are some of the things where we have to use the different article before that so why because of unique things some more things you can use the different article here is the religious books the bible the quran the bhagavad gita you know we use the different article before some religious books and also for some music violin guitar anything like that. anything like that. the tabla for musical instrument also we use the different article and designations also we use different article the prime minister the president the home minister the secretary the commissioner the commissioner so like that for even for designations also 
we use the definite article and so these are the examples where we should definitely use the definite article you should know that where in some cases we should not use in some cases we should definitely use so these are some of the examples of the so now you you got to know <clears throat> once again i would wish to say about that because this is a very important unit still most of them might not have understood but still i explain once again a and an are called the indefinite article the is called definite article a before the vowel the rest of the letters are called consonant a b c d are not called an alphabet you should say the definition says like this english is an al second letter of the english alphabet c is the third letter of the english alphabet and z and keeps on going z is the last letter or 26th letter of the english alphabet like it goes coming to the uh, where to use an an is used before a vowel sound sound a and an are used for singular noun it should be one for example a book a, bo a pen a school a house we cannot say a books a pens a schools a houses but the can be used before a singular as well as the plural noun there is no restrictions for the the book means particular book the book means a specific book the doctor the lion the tiger like that this we should always remember so the spelling is the same while writing t h e but saying if anything sounds vowel sound you have to use d the. when there is no vowel sound you have to use the so coming to next one how the a gets converted to the same thing for the second time or subsequent time it gets converted to the definite article so this is a rule you have to follow where we should the name of a place before the name of a state district town before the name of a metal before the name of a game so you should try to understand so where some countries are exempted by using the is very very necessary it is very very correct and you should not ask why why we should the philippines the netherlands the andamans so without fail you should use the definite article before only these countries because they are in a group some countries say it is in a plural form <clears throat> the is used for unique things and the is used before religious books the bhagavad gita the quran the bible and the is used before all the musical instruments the violin the guitar the tabla the keyboard the piano like that and the is used before the all designations all post the prime minister the president the secretary the school teacher the principal the headmaster the hm headmistress headmaster the other gender is just mistress isn't it chair person we don't say chairman now the chairman has been removed because when a lady comes and sits in that place you cannot call her as a chairman because she is a chair woman so chair woman doesn't sound nice so she is called as a chair person secretary the president the under secretary anything like that so all these things clear you can write to our vk online education you can send your comments you can send your feedback so that we could able to change and give a better picture to you isn't it now coming to now did you understand yes coming to next one is the singular and plural. singular means one plural means not two it is more than one some we use yes some we use yes some we use ves some words we use ies some word we don't use any s those words are called irregular plural now i'll write some of the few words and i will write the list of the irregular plural okay yes
singular means one plural means not two you should say more than one it can be two it starts from two two hundred two thousand twelve thousand twenty thousand two lakhs coming to your i give example boy it is boys girl it is girls son sons all relation it is only yes okay many examples are there for example cow cows dog dogs house houses car cars anything tree trees fruit fruits or you can say fruit also vegetable vegetables tomato tomatoes potato potatoes like you can see mango mangoes that will come after it is only yes so here i am using only yes so only yes so you should know to use where to use yes where to use yes where to use vs yes, where to i i yes when it comes here something like that for example baby it is babies body bodies city cities so this is the about ies ies when it comes to ves something like calf c a l f calf leaf leaves loaf of bread loaf loaves so it comes to des so many things are like that so plural means one sorry singular means one plural means more than one it can be two and more so these are where to use ies you should not get confused these are some of the examples i have given so for example wolf Ourselves, ourselves like that. Wolf is a wild animal. It is like a fox. Wolf is a wild animal. It is like a fox. These are some of the examples. No, ies is used. Those plurals are called irregular plural. Somebody will ask you, what is the difference between regular plural and irregular plural? You should not say all the same. why the name is in something different from this you would have say different plural but is a irregular plural it is not regular regular plural means you have to use yes either ies or no i will give you some more examples about irregular plural These are called irregular plural. For example, here I will write man. The plural is men. It is more than one. You cannot say mans. Here I write women. Here it is women. Here I write person. Here it will become people. Here I write child. It is teeth. Here I write ox. It will become oxen. Many things are there. 
So one more thing is here I write mouse. It is mice. Here I write goose. It is called this. Use yes after man. We don't use yes after woman. We don't use yes after person. We don't use yes after children, child. So these are called the irregular plural because we don't make use of yes either yes or i e s or v e s. So these are called the irregular plural. So you know that singular means one, plural means more than one. Do you understand? So coming to irregular plural, this is what I understand. No, I already taught you about the usage of a. What is a? What is and what is the? I want at least three to four hours to teach the parts of speech. So it is a lengthy chapter, but still you should. You are supposed to know what is a noun. So in English, what happens is every letter, every word has got a meaning. You say a word, it is something that. You say a word name. It is a. If you say a name Ramesh, it is a noun. If you say he or she, it is a pronoun. If you say run, play, eat, teach, it is a. If you say he walks fast. If you say and but because it is a conjunction. If you say of for. Of for o f of in. After before it is called the preposition, and if you call introduction is there, it is an exclamation mark. When you speak something, these are called the sir. I will tell you what are the parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech. So what I mean to say is anything with a name has got a meaning for them. If you say a pen, it is a noun. If you say a table, it is a noun. If you say clever, it is an adjective. If you say intelligent, it is an adjective. If you say any action, what is called verb? So I will go in brief. So Monday onwards, I will explain in detail. Gopal Kaur Das is a very good speaker. World, I think six months in a year, or even seven to eight months in a year. He told me, I usually listen to his speeches. He suddenly started telling maybe true or I don't know, but he said Albert Albert Einstein and an Indian was traveling in a train. So there there was some more time to reach the destination. An Indian asked, "What is the game about?" So Albert Einstein replied. If I ask you a question, if you say, if you say, if you say anything correctly, I will pay you five hundred dollars. If you don't know, if you don't know, if you don't know, you have to pay me fifty dollars. You have to pay me fifty dollars. In case I say. Something like pounds or something like that. Rupees, he says. Then he asks, oh, "We shall start." Then Indian said, "You ask, you be the first. You ask me the question." So into Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein asked him a question: What are the distance between the sun and the earth? What are the distance between the sun and the earth? Indian said, "I don't know." He took fifty dollars or fifty rupees from his pocket and gave it to Albert Einstein. He took that amount and put it in his pocket. <laughs> Now it is the turn of the Indian to ask a question. It is the turn of an Indian to ask a question. The Indian then hill and comes down with four legs. What is the animal which has three legs? Goes up. Comes down at dollars. If the Indian say doesn't know, he has to pay only fifty dollars because he's a renowned scientist. He's supposed to know the answers for all the questions. So when he heard this question, he was very much confused. He was not knowing the answer at all. 
Yes. So he did all type of circus. Albert Einstein says, I know he has to pay $500. If the Indian says, don't know, he has to pay only $50. No, Albert, Albert Einstein didn't know the answer. So he paid $500 to him. He happily, Indian happily accepted the $500, put it in his pocket. He went to sleep, snoozing, very angry. Hey, my dear friend, I already paid you $500. You tell me the answer. Now you should tell me the answer. What is that? Tell me the answer. Again, what Indian did, he took $50 from his pocket and paid to Albert Einstein. Finished. So there is the game. The thing is, the Indian earned $400 and Albert Einstein lost $450. So this is about maybe a joke or something like that. You should keep on telling stories and jokes. So you should know how to say a joke, how to tell a story in English. If you understood this, you can tell in Telugu to some of your friends. Okay, this is about Gopal Kaur Das, who is the chief of the ISKCON temple in Mumbai. He used to, you listen to his speeches, he gives very good inspiring speeches about religion, inspiring speeches about some jokes and he speaks. Now coming to parts of speech. You can say there are eight parts of speech. Not more than the eight, only eight parts of speech. Every part of speech has got an explanation with a clear definition. Now I give a brief idea. Monday will explain. The second one is a pronoun. And the fifth one is adjective. The sixth one is pre preposition. Or you can say preposition. It is different. the seventh one is called conjunction. And the eighth one, sorry, I write it here. The eighth one is called interjection. So these are the eight parts of speech. There are five types of noun, collective noun and abstract noun. Coming to pronoun. It is used instead of it, he, my, mine, us. They used. It is. It replaces a noun. It is used instead of a noun. Noun means it's only a naming word. When it comes to verb, it's an action word. Action word: play, run, eat, teach. The verb means which modifies a verb. It tells what the verb does. Verb is just only and chapiri vachi adverb. So how does he walk? He walks fast. How does he run? He runs fast. The fast is called the adverb. She sings. She sings melodiously. Baga parthundi animata. The verb gurinchi in chuktamu the adverb. The noun lo chhi pearl use chastamu pronoun lo pearl use chaymu me. We don't use the names there. We just say. He, she, his, him, like that. Then coming to adjective, it describes a noun, not a verb. Anything which says about a noun, intelligent, clever, beautiful, tall, short, big, small, broad, narrow, pure, improve, impure, anything. Anything says about a noun. Okay. A right mango. A green apple like that. Anything which says about them is called adjective. Now coming to preposition is used before a noun. These are some of the words we use. For example, in, on, of, for, after. It is used before a noun. This I will go with good examples. Now coming to conjunction joining word. Conjunction is called a Joining word, for example, conjunction is called a joining word, for example, and but if 
as soon as as well as so everything is about the conjunction and coming to interjection it says about interjection says about the expression of the words it is simply oh my god omg they say oh my god the word was the word was found in the year 1970 103 years before excellent congratulations happy journey congratulations happy journey well done keep it up oh my something like that so any expression you say that is called interjection and it is followed by the mark known like this this is this is called exclamatory mark it is followed by explain it these words are said maybe in a happy mood or in a bad mood also press or oh like that it can be happy also anything like that so the expression the words which expresses is called interjection this i will go in detail on monday it will take at least at least two to three hours i require this class to clearly explain the parts of speech with some examples okay so how do you feel the class you have to send your feedback through the vk online education so where whether my explanation is clear whether there is a clarity in my explanation whether you could understand my language everything am i fast or slow there should be a comment so that i could change my style of teaching the way of teaching so that i should know that how i what i do because so far no complete but still i want some feedback from you also thank you very much for being with us and practice what all i have told you unless you practice it won't come and like happy weekend we shall see